Okay, welcome to the storm update. It's 1.30 uh, now. A lot has changed in the last half an hour. Things are moving along at a pretty quick uh, pace, and we now have a 48-mile-an-hour wind gust at uh, JFK. Look at this, a 59-mile-an-hour wind gust reported at Manhattan Beach. East wind at 41, gusting to 59. Uh, the winds are really picking up now. A little more from the east than I thought. Those are going to be a little more southeast, but we'll see what happens if those winds wind up uh, veering a little more. But uh, uh, we got wind gusts here, 32 at JFK, uh, making our way down toward the Jersey Shore because that's where the worst of it is right now, at least according to the radar. Let's see what it looks like with these wind readings here. 43 mile an hour wind gust at South Seaside Park. Uh, oh, look at this one here. Here's a big one, 59 mile an hour wind gust at Beach Haven. So they're reporting east-southeast wind at 34, gusting to 59 miles an hour right now. Um, looks like uh, Atlantic City, things will, things will probably eventually quiet down there. Uh, they were hit uh, literally by the time I finished and uploaded the uh, last update on the storm, the line had already moved to like Atlantic City. So this line is moving along at a good clip. Let's go to the radar next. Uh, and let's go to this radar right here. So we'll get to, get to see this, uh, again, this big tropical feeder band, all the red here. So Atlantic City's still not out of the woods yet. Uh, you can see some, uh, really, this is around where that wind gust was reported, Beach Haven. So this could be a thunderstorm right here, uh, bringing down some very strong winds from that LLJ. Uh, and this is all moving toward us. So uh, let's go look at the... Uh, this radar here, this is the other radar from the Weather Service. And you can see those special marine warnings now crawling up into our area uh, as this this whole thing gets a lot closer to us. Um, let's go look at the power out situation. We'll work our way from south to north. Atlantic City Electric is reporting 1,356 customers without power. It's not too bad considering, uh, but I think it's going to get worse as it moves further north. JCPNL, on the other hand, getting hit harder. There are nearly 5,000 customers there without power, and they're mostly probably along the Jersey Shore areas. Uh, we have that large outage in Point Pleasant Beach. We have a lot of scattered smaller outages throughout uh, into Monmouth uh, County. Um, and let's now go to PSCG Long Island. Uh, we're now up to 2,710 people without power on Long Island. Uh, and uh, we can see here, uh, let's go where the outages are, obviously. Uh, the largest ones are in the middle of the island. We have one in part of Hicksville now. Um, and then uh, we have some smaller ones on the south shore. Uh, a few smaller ones, not too many in the south shore. Again, look at this area here. Rockville Center, nothing. Nothing going on. What about Long Beach? Nothing. Barely any outages at all, of course. Um, and then we have some more in Lake Grove. Um and uh, we have uh, some in Lindenhurst. Um, it's the only areas on the south shore. Let's see if anything is on the east end. Looks like we have an outage on the east end in East Hampton. Oh, that's a big one. All right, so that's a fairly large one uh, that is in East Hampton right now. Uh, so, uh, and again, with these wind gusts, it's not surprising that we're seeing this happen uh, with these power outages. Let's just refresh the railroad's Twitter and see if anything's happened on the Long Island Railroad. Uh, nothing uh, so far as to that. All right, so let's go to 5-1 New York. Take a look and see what's going on in these power outage areas here and see if uh, that Hicksville train station is being affected by an outage. Uh, does not look like it is. Looks like they have power over there. Uh, let's see this area here, Route 106 and West John Street. Looks like they are not out. Let's see what about this one. This one's a little screwed up, but... You can see the wind moving the camera around, and that's the point, is that we've got these very strong winds uh, that are moving through. It looks like it's mostly on the west side of Hicksville that this outage is occurring, probably over here, probably. That camera may not work. Yeah, that's not, that's not working. Or right, well, we do have it, but, yep. Show image. Well, it gives you a still image, but we want to see a video. But anyway, this gives you an idea of the winds. When you see the way the winds are moving things around. Let's look at Williston Park. Uh, can't really see the lights, traffic lights too well at this one here. I'm going to show you the traffic lights just moving around from the wind. Uh, but uh, some of these, <laughs> you know, <clears throat> Levittown seems to be the best one. You can sort of see them moving. It doesn't look like it's moving around as bad 
as it was before. But it comes and goes in phases uh, with these strong winds. And again, if we move ourselves up toward Long Island, you can see we've got a lot of wind gusts over 50 miles, uh, over 40 miles an hour right now. The temperature is rising as we get to this. So let's take a look at the seas. These buoys, this buoy's got a 51 mile an hour wind gust. Uh, it's not winning any wave heights at this point. Let's see what about this one. Uh, this one isn't reporting a wave height either. Okay, why aren't you reporting a wave height? <sighs> All right, let's see. The last observation was 13.5 feet with that one. Uh, so it's pretty high up. That's pretty high up. Uh, so this uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, rough surf, and we'll have to see. I haven't heard any flooding reports yet, but uh, we'll see what winds up happening. Uh, as the storm continues to ramp up and, and affect our area here, uh, it's it's going to, you know, like I said, the worst of it, I would say, let's go to that radar right now, and I'm going to refresh it again here. Uh, be, well, generally speaking, the worst of it is is probably about an hour away from starting to arrive in our area, our media area, Long Island. So again, this is the heavy rain right here. This is where that LLJ is. And uh, if we were to, if we are to, were to look at the models, let's go ahead and look at the models for a minute. Uh, you'll see here, each triple R, most the most rapid update model we have. Uh, you can see how it kind of intensifies as it gets to Long Island, or at least it, yeah, it seems like it picks up strength as it gets to Long Island. And it still doesn't have it moving through until uh, 6 a.m. It's still keeping it around that 5 a.m. time frame. We'll have to see. It seems like it's moving a little faster than that. Uh, I'm thinking more like 3, 4 o'clock, it's going to start getting close to our area. That's my own opinion of it. Uh, but uh, we have some pretty strong wind gusts out there, uh, and the winds are going to continue to pick up. We're going to continue to see more power outages across our area. Uh, it looks like another one, just uh, another one in Lake Success. Uh, but it looks like most of them are in the middle of the island. There are a few on the south shore, but uh, the largest ones are in the middle of the island, and I'm sure we'll continue to see more as the night goes on. Uh, yeah, so, again, hopefully your power doesn't go out, but, uh, you know, depending on where you are and the infrastructure in your area, uh, <laughs> I don't have too much faith in it. Uh, anyway, uh, we'll keep your I'll keep you informed as long as I can. If I do lose power, then I'll probably put a post up on my phone about the power outage and try to keep you informed that way. Uh, but other than that, uh, we're going to be in the thick of it for from now until probably 7 a.m. or so, and then things should improve.